Contracts in HoneyBook are legally binding documents that allow you to specify the nitty-gritty information of your project. They require your client to review and sign the file, which they can do right through our platform, before the project can proceed. As with all other files in HoneyBook, you can create reusable templates for your contracts, saving you the trouble of copying and pasting over and over. To create a contract template, click the Tools menu from your navigation bar, then select Templates. Head to the Contract section, and click the tab on the left to open your file drawer. This will show you any existing templates that you have, or you can click Add Template to start a fresh one. Start by naming your template, which you can do simply by clicking the title at the top. Then review your header, where you can update the background image and your company logo. Now you can start building out the contract itself. You can edit the text right in the body of the file, typing it in from scratch, or copy and paste from your existing documentation. And you can always spruce it up with some standard text formatting options in the toolbar here. You also have the option to insert some contract fields, which will be handy when you're applying these contracts to projects in the future. Click the area where you'd like to insert the field, select the Field Options button in the toolbar, and select the field you'd like to include. With these contract fields, you have a few options. When you select the field name, which is the type of information this field will include, one option is to select a field that will automatically populate information from existing data in HoneyBook. You can pull info from your HoneyBook project, client, payment, company, or file details. Selecting any of the field names in this dropdown will enable those autofill possibilities. So this is perfect for automatically inserting client names, contact info, project dates, etc. into any contract. You can also create a custom field by entering the name and selecting the Add button. This won't auto-populate any information, but is great for requesting any details that aren't already collected in HoneyBook. The field value is the actual information that you or your client will enter into the contract. You likely won't need to enter a field value when you're creating a template, as you'll more likely want the value to be specified by you or your client on a project-by-project -project basis, but you can fill it in if you'd like to highlight a piece of information. Finally, these fields can be set to allow the client to edit when they receive the file, require the client to enter information before they can sign, or remind you to fill out specific information before you send the file. Then, in the sections of a contract where you might detail the services you're booking for or a payment schedule, you can choose to insert fields that will automatically pull that information from the individual project. It's important to note that when creating a contract template, you won't find the option to add any signature lines. You won't need to. When you pull this template into a project, it will automatically add signature lines for you and any participants that are associated with the project. Finally, remember that from your file drawer, you can always delete a template using the trash can icon, duplicate it with the dupe icon, or star the template to set it as your default contract, which just means that it will be the first contract pulled when you create a new agreement or proposal. All changes will save automatically, so you're good to go whenever you're ready. Now, you can use your template anytime you'd like to send a contract or proposal to a client.